This is Karen Batia. I'm here backstage at the Canelo Jacobs press conference. I'm here with the legend Bernard Hopkins. Bernard, what do you think about the Canelo Jacobs matchup? Super fight for the middleweight division. Um, it's just actually picking up from what the boxing in the middleweight division has been um, from history, from the 60s, the 70s, 80s, 90s, and you know the era that I've had enjoyed for 13 years as a middleweight with 20 defenses. And I, I apologize. I, I, not apologize, I applaud both for the guys, um, both champions, that they are taking each other on for the undisputed middleweight championship of the world. And if you had to give us a prediction on that fight? Canelo, drag out, knock down. Both of them might taste a little bit of the canvas, but I'm leaning slightly towards Canelo based on being um, just experience on the highest level in winning. See, Jacobs had been there once, maybe twice, yeah, twice. But Canelo's been there a few times and he has more wins than L's on his record based on what? The biggest dance, our Oscars in boxing, the championship, and now there's the Grammys. The undisputed middleweight champion of the world, I believe Canelo has more tools, more experience at a high level being successful with those levels will win with a drag out knockdown fight. I'm gonna go Canelo, late round stoppage, TKO, by a hard fought knockdown drag out fight. Both guys are young, both guys are hungry. Is e does either guy remind you of a young Bernard Hopkins at all in, 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 in any way? Both guys, both guys. The only thing that separate us, they kind of nice to each other at the press conference. Uh, I was a little bit more feisty. Yeah. What do you think about the heavyweight news that's going on right now? We were kind of looking it. forward Yo, to the. It, we were looking Sorry. forward to the uh, Wilder Fury rematch. It seems like that may be delayed. Fury signing the contract with Top Rank. What do you think is going to happen? Is that fight going to get made? And, and what do you think about the heavyweight landscape right now? Listen, uh, Jacob is showing, and Canelo is showing, that you can be on the other side of the street, but if. You a real champion before you become champion, and you want to fight the best, then you will make sure that your handlers know what you want. They work for the fighter. Once the fighters, and they are catching on quick, realize that they are the bosses, then we will see a heavyweight champion fight with the Joshua and Wilder and Fury and anybody else. I think when it's talked about and it don't come to fruition, I think is a negative to boxing. I think it's a negative to the credibility that we are slowly building where mainstream with the resources and the apps that you can go to a few of them and tune in and watch boxing. This is our time to get it right. Let's not move. Let's not take this for granted. That's to everybody out there. It's no plea. Suggestion, you know. I ain't the smartest one in boxing, but I'm just making a suggestion. That last fight, Wilder Fury, what did you think about Wilder's performance? Do you think he was winning that fight before the knockdowns? I, I think Wilder was winning the fight until the last five, maybe six rounds, where Fury, I don't believe how he done it as far as uh, get up, fight back, and out hustled. He out hustled him. He out hustled. And listen, I was going for Wilder. I will go for Wilder for the rematch because I think Wilder has the tools and the unorthodox way of fighting that he has that you can't train no one to do that. That's just him. I believe that that he got out hustled. He got out hustled. And a better man sometimes can be the one to out hustle you. If the Wilder Joshua matchup happens, how would you see that I like fight? Wilder. I like Wilder. I think Wilder would make those adjustments. I believe he know his mistakes. I believe his the mistakes is brought to his attention, and I believe that if he fight him sooner than later, and none of the shenanigans that I'm hearing, I think that he has a better chance. Now, if it lingers on, then I think that he has a better chance on not winning based on the same performance of the first fight. I think he should get it while it's hot. I think he should get it while it matters. 
and not a fade away into a memory of a conversation. So Joshua and Wilder, who is holding Joshua that? Joshua by knockout within four or five rounds. It's a beast. This is not even fair. Is, does Big Billy, Baby Miller have a chance against Joshua, in your opinion? Um, Big Baby is such a, 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 a loose cannon in a positive way. Dangerous, must be tamed early, or he's going to be a problem to anybody. See, because he's a heavyweight. And now I'm not saying what most people say, hey, you know, heavyweight, to hit you, he's going to knock you out. I'm not saying that. I'm saying that Big Baby has enough skills to grow up from a baby to a man in the ring with anybody. Before we let you go, always well-dressed. Tell me a little bit about what, what do we have here. Well, everything I have on is under $1,000, and, 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 and even a 10% um, a discount because I, I, sh I, I shop there a lot. Um, they haven't said they're going to give me any free clothes, so I can't give you the title of the store, but I can tell you they do dress you well because they have well stuff in their store. Um, Listen, it ain't what you wear, it's how you wear it. The clothes don't make you, shouldn't make you, whether you're a woman or man, you make the clothes. So take care of the temple and the clothes will look better than they look on a hanger. So that unnamed store, why haven't they not given you a sponsorship deal yet? Because when they see this video, yeah. they will. And this video is not a plea, yes. it's just saying, I am interested. Call my phone, and that is Golden Boy Promotion. I'm easy to find. Track me down, and we can have a dialogue on a consideration of what we need to do. There you have it, Bernard Hopkins at the Canelo Jacobs Presser. This is Karen Batia.